Hey there, Dr. Brad here from Advanced Chiropractic in Tumwater, Washington. And today I want to go over a few tips if you've been in a car accident. Now, I want you to know that these tips are true even if it's a minor rear ender all the way up to a severe head-on collision. So number one, well, I mean, I guess if you're being taken away in, a, you know, in an ambulance, forget this one. But number one, if you're not, uh, take pictures of the scene. That's very important and easy to forget. You want to take pictures of your car, the other car, any of the people, get as many pictures as you can. We all have cameras in our pockets with our phones. Make sure to get that out, take pictures of everything, the road conditions, whatever the case may be. Because that stuff can come back and be beneficial uh, if there's a dispute about who's at fault, uh, who's actually injured, all that kind of good stuff. So make sure you take pictures at the scene. Number two, no matter how you feel, you should definitely get evaluated and checked out by a medical professional. Now, I'm not saying to go to the emergency room. If that's needed, if you're bleeding, if you got broken bones, uh, if you're knocked unconscious, by all means, go to the emergency room. But I'm talking about most car accidents, people feel like they didn't really get that hurt, maybe their neck's a little sore, maybe where the seatbelt went across is a little sore. Go get checked out. And here I'm gonna tell you a little story about why. Why I'm telling you that no matter what, even if it's a 10 mile an hour rear ender and you don't feel like you got hurt, don't feel any pain, go get checked out by a chiropractor, a competent chiropractor. <clears throat> so years ago, before I had my own practice, I worked for another chiropractic office. We routinely did x-rays, that was part of the technique there. And my job was to review the x-rays with the patients. Many of these patients I hadn't met yet, they did their initial exam with somebody else in the office, got their x-rays done, I reviewed them. When they came back for their second visit, my job was to report on the x-ray findings. So frequently, uh, I would have this conversation with people. So many times, it became almost a joke in my head. And what I would do is I would show them a side view uh, x-ray of their neck. And the proper shape of the neck should be a C shape, like this. Um, and I would put one of those up, a good one, and I'd put theirs up here, and I'd say, see how this one has a C, and how your neck has this S pattern? And they'd say, yeah, I can see that. And then I would say, have you ever been in a car accident? And I, I kid you not, half the time, people would say, no. Well, one, but it was like 15 years ago when it was minor. And I'd say, this is what your neck looks like. This is a normal neck. I was able to pick out that you'd been in a car accident 10 or 15 years ago that you said was nothing because of the shape of the curve in your neck. My point here is that even if you feel like it was nothing 10 or 15 years ago, if it distorts the uh, anatomy and the function of your spine, it's going to negatively affect your health. So you want to get that fixed. And when we're at this point, 15 years later, it was a lot more work and a lot harder to get that fixed in the person's neck than it would have been had they come in 10 or 15 years ago when they first had the accident. So go get checked. Likely you'll save yourself pain. You'll save yourself a lot of time. You'll save yourself money. And you'll save yourself the, the risk of a chronic problem that maybe won't actually be able to get fixed all the way. Headaches, neck pain, and so forth. So those are my biggest tips. I mean, yes, the other stuff, you know, make sure you're wearing your seatbelt, all that kind of good stuff. Get an attorney if you need. Um, those are things that are great. But those tips that I just said are the biggest ones that I see people make the mistake. They don't take photos at the scene and they don't go get evaluated by a competent chiropractor to make sure because perhaps, you know, they really didn't get injured. But I'll tell you what, our bodies aren't built to travel at 25, 35, 45, 55 miles an hour in a big box of steel and run into other big boxes of steel. So whenever that happens, there's a tremendous amount of physical force that goes through our body, particularly our neck and upper back, and so frequently those get injured, even if we don't feel pain at the moment. All right, I hope that was helpful. You guys take care. Bye now.